Welcome back, guys, to another episode of the Unlucky Specialist Podcast. With yours truly, Sam Torres. And your boy, Jeff DeBanga, a.k.a. Ofits, a.k.a. Hey. Meme Coin Hours, a.k.a. We out here, man. We out here. How you doing, man? I've been good, man. This holiday season, I I don't know, does it make me basic because I just want to melt into a couch and not do anything? No, I mean, I feel like it's been like that for a lot of people, you know what I mean? But for other people, since we've been stuck inside, just, just want to get out there. Out there. For sure. I got it. I get it for sure. The I weather. Feel I feel like the weather also kind of contributed to that. Like us, Calif- we, like we always talk about on this podcast, some us Californians complaining, but it, we don't get like this rain as often or the cold weather as often. So when, when it happens, I'm just trying to stay home. Hey man, it was, it's been, it was 55 today. It's been a little chilly. It, right, California it chilly on the way home, you know, and it's been raining here and there, but I, what I also like is today. It was that type of cold where the sun was out, especially in the morning. Right. I like when oh, yeah, I like it's that. cold, but the sun is out. Yeah, the, uh, Sunday a was like cold. that, too. That's a good cold for me. Sun's out, but it's kind of chilly outside. Yeah. Between... You could put you're on gonna a, laugh at me, Midwestern and East Coast people, but when it's between sixty and fifty, right? Can I right, can I right. request is that a, a little for a little fifty five okay? action? Is that okay? A little fifty five action? Yeah, you a little fifty five action. You could throw on a shacket. You know, a I just, shacket. I just learned that word. A pa- what's that? You know, a shacket. I don't know what that is. A shacket is a ja- a, sh- a shirt and a jacket. Wow. No, that it's it's, sound like it'll it's keep in between. Warm at all. No, it's very warm, but it it's not necessarily a jacket. I don't know. It's it's a whole I feel thing it. Did now. you get a shacket for Christmas? I did fucking get a shacket. <laughs> <laughs> is that where you learned this information? <laughs> you got a shacket for Christmas? Is that bro? why you're so excited? Yeah, is that why you're excited <laughs> about shackets? Yeah, man. I'm I pretty fucking that. excited because I got it. It was pretty nice. I fuck with that. You got to be excited about your gifts, man. It's, it's, it's warm yet not overbearingly warm. You know, sometimes you get a little too much like, like fur up in there and you're like, so, yeah, it's a little, a little too hot. Maybe yeah. the, this I'm my, a sweaty guy. Hey, you know? me too, dude. I, so you know, I don't like. I get I like hot when it's warm. cold, bro. Right, right, right. If I'm in the car and the windows are up and the heater's on a little too much, yeah. And I got a jacket still Woo. on. I'm gonna start saying, yo. That's yeah, me too. Fact, nah, even yeah, if it's yeah, cold yeah. outside. That's why I appreciate the jacket because it's lined like <laughs> it's nicely lined with some silk in the inside or <laughs> like, something. This is a pro jacket. <laughs> pro jacket. <laughs> I like it. That's dope. Yeah, man. It was. It was a good Christmas. See, no, but I got fan. a question though. I got a question though. Right. See, I didn't really do too much for Christmas. I just kind of chilled at the pad, binge watch a show, get nice. a little faded, chill, just not Sounds do great. really much. But other Christmases in my recent past, right? What does your family like to do? Is it like the whole gift? Ex- like everybody gifts, like people just multiple gifts. Everybody gets a gift, or is it a game like a white elephant or a secret Santa? Like. What so now that you're older? Now that we're older, because when we were little, it was a whole different thing. And How now, was that though? Was that just the- no? Actually, I, I feel like it's always been the same. Um, it's uh, uh, Secret Santa. Secret Santa is a move, I think. Like they pair up one person with another, even if yeah. it's a a kid of three years old with a person that's eighty. Yeah. You know what I mean, or or See, you know each other. You know what I, I mean? like Secret Santa, but you know why? I and leaving, a, you know, they put a limit, you know, or and a, everybody a gives their like certain people their like maybe immediate family or other people right. their certain individual gifts. But you right, know right, what right, I really right. like though? I like white elephant because it's the same. You get you a person, but you could steal shit, so it becomes a game. It becomes it's, like some type of you game. Become, you got to become a criminal exactly. on, the, on the holiest days. Or of all. you could just hold it down and just play it off. You could bluff, like, "Yo, this shit is weak." <laughs> You're right. This shit looks weak. Believe me or but, not. <laughs> you know, how are you gonna bluff? Oh uh, well. Oh you yeah. Can you, bluff. No, don't you open it? Exa- no. Sometimes you don't though. If it's in a bag, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. You, you do have to open it. Yeah, you're you right. See you're so right. that you can see yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, man, that's a hundred percent true. I'm just like so living in a oh, fantasy uh, world. Yeah, no, it's all a lies. different kind of white, white elephant. I know that was a different white elephant. I, don't know, I wrote that one a while ago. <laughs> Never go back to that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a dangerous white elephant. That was not the elephant that Alexander took to character the Alps. <laughs> it was not that same elephant. Oh uh, shit! But yeah, no, I don't think it's it's. You know, like uh, it's good. It's a good, 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 a good tradition to have. You know what I mean? Hang out with family. You know, but it, 
also hanging out. You know what I've been like? You were telling me just hanging out with yourself. Yeah, no. <laughs> exactly. I, underrated, I tra- underrated, uh, underrated, for sure. It's definitely my only child self just being able to hang out with myself straight up. No, but I feel like I have two siblings. If I decided to like not show up, they'd give me shit. But I like I wouldn't care. Exactly. But I don't have no one to give me shit. <laughs> That's true. Because people could give me shit, but it's limited. Yeah, no, and, and I feel <laughs> it's like a limited amount of shit. Right, right. Just two shits, two shits, maybe a little third, third shit, shit from oh, the right. for the whole family. Right, right. So it's like right. one shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like multiple droppings, <laughs> like birds in the sky. <laughs> this, this one. <laughs> no, but it's yeah. true though. So I feel less exposed and less embarrassed. But like just to chill at home, and this is how was it? That's where I was trying to get to, dude. What, like I know. Okay, it was I'm gonna great, keep it real. I'm gonna keep it real. I bought myself a present. That's kind <laughs> of the thing. I was being Beautiful. selfish. I bought myself a present, and I wanted to spend time with my present. I love, <laughs> and, it, and it, it was the new Xbox. So, oh, I thought it was a puppy. I wish, nah, dude. That would have been kind of cool. No, that would, no. I would have left. <laughs> like, take care. You yourself. would have left the puppy on Christmas. <laughs> Pee on the ground. <laughs> And I'll come back at the. I'll come you. back and clean it. <laughs> nah, but I was with oh, the, the Xbox. Xbox. I was playing games, and then I started binge watching Succession, bro. Ooh, binge watching Succession because I thought I had only seen the first season, right? But I actually had seen the second season fully, but I didn't really like, realize it till the fifth episode. Okay, and I was just like, oh, I remember all of this now, right? But right. But it was like a refresher, and then I got into the third season. But I saw so much succession for about like 18 hours right. that once I got to the eighth episode of the third season, I, I was, I need to stop. Yeah. It was too much. Sometimes you get a little burnt, burnt out. out. You know, you get a little burnt out, even though the show is really good. It's good, but it's not good enough to keep your attention that hardcore. At least I feel me, like it was you got to take it like I gotta redo episode it by episode. I gotta, yeah, yeah. I got to yeah, start yeah. from like the fifth episode of the third season. Just kind of you're going a little too hard on that binge watch. Too hard, too hard. Yeah, that's what happens when you have nothing to do. Yeah, that's, that's true. Shout out to you all know my what people who are working. You know what's something that people are going to be able to do that we, I want to talk about when they have nothing to do? What? Is enter the metaverse. Damn. Have you That's heard? You heard, you heard about that? I've heard about the metaverse. You heard, 100%. You heard what's good? What, you know, what, what? What the fuck is his name again? Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg is creating. He's not creating. He's just like incorporating it into his already existing like shit. Basically. He's he's planning for the world to be everybody just stuck in their virtual world. Which is, have you ever seen the movie Ready Player One? Yeah, no, I have. But you know what is a better way to see it? It's almost like. If you want to be real about it, it's a way to capitalize on the amount of time that you spend on your phone anyway. Right. So a lot of okay. people's lives already revolve around their phone. And I'm but not you're even gonna be a, a, big, a screen I'm not a big metaverse guy, but in terms of like if you want to at least Okay, you, there's so many bad things you could say about anything that happens in life, right? I feel like our, people are already saying that's the matrix thing we plugged in, <laughs> or like, but there's a lot of things, even on human life, we, the, like prospecting for gold, fucking drilling oil, fucking all this bullshit, it, the energy that the internet takes, Bitcoin, whatever. There's so many negative things you could see, say about everything. Right. But there could be something good in everything. Right. So it's like, why not try to prosper off what you already do a lot of the time, which is look at your screen. That's true. So there's a way to... But it's a, way that it could I be a lot it, more immersive, a lot more be, like... It could like, be. Uh, sensory, you know but what I mean? But that's how you got to be the aggressive one to take the at least this is the way i see it you got to take the initiative to be the one that you're gonna try at least a little obviously there's people already ahead of us but you gotta at least a bit take advantage of what that those platforms are gonna take right because that's gonna be something whether you like it or not true that's true whether you like it or not i'm not saying i'm not gonna like it no i'm no i agree but i'm just saying a lot of people i see things on twitter i see things on the internet it's like oh this is gonna be bad for humanity It, it, it might be i mean social media is bad but what are you? Uh, what the are you, internet's bad. But what, but it, what are you, that one person, going to do about it? Because that's good doesn't and, stop it. Because and, there's, these well, millionaires, there's, exactly billionaires. True. Sorry, there's, that's true. But there's also a lot of good things about all the technologies. Right, it's right. Just the good things. No one talks about the good right. things because they're good. So we just sweep them under the rug. For sure. But we talk about the bad things, which we should. I'm not saying don't talk about the bad things, but it's talk about the good things too. Right. So I feel like if you want to, you you got to be. Try to be at least in the front of the line of this yeah, stuff. No, like, definitely. 
If and he, he's and he's doing it. You know what I mean? He's, he's doing it, but he's it's jumping also, in. He, I'm not even caping for Zuck because I feel he's a fuck. Hey, but that's, that's, I didn't mean to rhyme. Really but new, I don't. T-shirt. I'm not a big Zuck's Zuck. A I'm not being. I'm not a big Zuck guy. But I'm saying for people that are going to use those platforms and people who are going to participate, try to be the first in line to capitalize on that stuff. Right. You have to. If you were left out on the next one, you can't be left out on this new one. You always got to try to like take advantage of it. For sure. Either way, either you're salty, either you're salty, or you're rich, or you're <laughs> or you're salty and exploiting people, or maybe you could be the good virtuous person to use it and then use your money for some good share or use your clout for some good share, whatever the fuck. Right. You know what I mean? That's how it is. That's how it was in the past century too. Like even. Like the Gilded Age in the 1920s, 1910s. People were in gold teeth and diamond teeth in the 1910s, bro. People think that shit is new. That shit is old, bro. Grill's been here. Grill's been here. And people were talking (laughs) shit about wealth inequality since then. It's like, this is nothing new. Right. You got to either do something about it, shut up, be part of it, or shut up. Not here for the games, bro. I feel like we... I, I love it. I love it. But out of all this, I'm sorry that I just got Zuck's a fuck. Hey, Zuck's a fuck. That's a big... That's we're we're making we're making a T-shirt out of that, and he's corny for naming his, his uh, company Meta, bro. Meta, yeah, I, I don't like it, bro. Yeah, Ron yeah. Artest had had a cool, <laughs> cool first cool dibs first, on that on uh, Meta Meta World Peace. You know what? Yeah. Ron Artest should have been suing uh, Mark Zuckerberg for that name. Yeah, hey, I don't know, man. I think he still got a chance, bro. <laughs> but uh, anyways. I don't know. If, uh, what are you doing for the new year? We just hey, hanging out, just ringing yeah, in. What you, a, any any uh, resolutions? Unless, any? The, unless the Omicron slash B two K virus has a, <laughs> has something B2K. to say about it, I'm gonna chill with my girl at her house and right, shit right. with her pants and shit. That's kind of the move right now. I don't That's know. That's what's up. That's what's up. Maybe chill. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. That's cool. Um, we were talking about. Nas, I know. I love the the. What the, are you the, doing for New Year's? Me do, do for New Year's? Uh, going. Nothing. Not, I mean, I, that's that. Yeah, that's your lazy day. Neither he. Maybe that that might could be. be. That could be. That might be because I, I don't know. I, I want to do something. Don't want to. New do Year's something. is overrated. Someone told me the other day. It's like we're really just celebrating Though, the next day. <laughs> I heard. I heard today of a of a party in in, in Hollywood at this place called the Sunset Room. You pay a hundred dollars. I know it's a lot. I get it. Okay. Hosted by a party next door. Whatever. Okay. okay whatever. Somebody's hosted. But this is the this this was the hook that got me. Okay, okay. Open bar from 8 30 to 3 a.m. Damn, 3 a.m. in Los Angeles? In Los Angeles. Damn, we're breaking the rules. It's going to hell. Los Angeles is going to hell. This, Move to Austin. Oh like I was like, you know what? That might be a little worth it. You know what you I know mean? What? Like I don't like parties anymore. No, I don't look, I'm not that kind of person like that. I do like no, parties. You know what? I do like you parties. Drive me to one, say. and when I'm there, I'm like, yeah. But like thinking about it and the whole like process of yeah. getting there, yeah, it's yeah. not into it, man. No, no. The, the, it I might mean, be tight though. Open bar is sick, right? I fuck with that. Heavy. Yeah, open bar, just hanging out. Play, they play some good music. Exactly. You're ringing Get the, the new vibes year. there with good people. You don't it's all spend, about the people you're with. All you're spending is on the Uber there and back. Exactly. It's all about the people you're with too. If you're right, with a good sure. group, for having sure. a good time, you're gonna have a good night. Exactly. Hundred percent. It doesn't yeah, matter you know where I mean? you're at. Right. Just right. A whether, good group. Whether, right. If you're even if you're an out of your comfort zone and yeah. things like that, it's, it's always a good time. Like, a, you know yeah. what I mean? Like with, with good it's people. It's about the good attitude. That's true. That's for true. sure. Don't sit on me. What you know? What's not? What's what's not good, Jeff? What? The Lakers. Fuck. God damn. I boycotted the Lakers. <laughs> that you know what's not good is. The, the even though we're what right now in the sixth, seventh, we dropped the, down to seventh in the West. It, it's just not looking good. It's not looking good at all. It's looking horrible. It's it's not looking like a team that 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 Laker fans are used to rooting for. It's not like uh, looking like a team that that we thought in the. Honestly, look, I'm gonna be the first one to say we were hyping up this team the begin uh, during the preseason. We were hyping up this team. Uh, during the offseason, we got Russ, we got Melo. Yeah, we're a little old, but I feel like LeBron James and and, and Frank Vogel can make it mesh and work. And I, we were the first to say that. We, I mean, not the first, but we were. We, I could say we're that definitely we were saying that. Saying that, but now I'm not going to flip flop. I'm just going to say what what the reality is, and it's not a team that it's plays team. defense. 
It's not a team that plays defense. It's, it's not, not a team that plays like a team. It's a team that's looking old. It's a team that's looking like they have a lot of flaws. It's a team that they have no offense either. What's the offense? We're talking about the defense. There's no offense right. to even speak of. Honestly, I I think the I, Lakers are pretty screwed. And this is the thing. I will say, I didn't say I've said in multiple podcasts, mm. I'm not gonna pan it till all star break. And right. there's still time. We there's still 50 got games all of left. January. We still got a little bit of February. Right. So there's time to make it up. But the, what makes it hard is as much as you, Mr. Anthony Davis hater for sure, we no, we'll, no, we'll no, peg no, you no, with no, that. No, yeah. We can peg you with that, right? We can peg you with that. Right. Me distrusting of Anthony Davis at the same time and then him getting injured. Right. He's but the thing is that now we see the absence, though. Right. We see the absence. Right. And we've been both kind of digging at him. Like, in a way, who is he? Is he a franchise player? Can he be the number one option now that LeBron is old? And it right. didn't seem like it. Right. But now that he's out, we I mean, see he, that we're missing him. Right. Because he, we had, won five he's had games a good, in a row. I'm not going to deny he's had good stats, a good, good season on his own throughout when he was playing. But what what did he do to help te- help this team elevate I agree. themselves? Right? It was still mediocre, but now it's even worse than mediocre. Right. I it's mean, no, so bad. We, we have LeBron James, the only guy out playing there trying well. playing the playing great, playing well. I, you know what I mean? Where's Westbrook? There you go. Lakers leading scorers. LeBron. Where's Westbrook? I don't know. Where's our team? The thing is, a lot of people are out with COVID, Where's right? Where's THT? There's a lot of people. Where's THT? He's been playing Look, terrible. <coughs> I know. Playing I know he's a but young he's guy. he also was off for 10 days with COVID. Yeah. No yeah. practice, no nothing. And they inserted him, and now he's not playing well. With a young player, those reps mean a lot. So, I don't know. This COVID, that's, uh, the Lakers are not the only team dealing with the health and protocols. They, you know, that's just the regime that the NBA is putting down, the rules right. that they're putting down. They're not the only team, yeah. but it's affecting the Lakers probably the most because they depend so much on their main guys, and the main guys are old. So you yeah. need at least bodies, and we have no bodies. We picked up Isaiah Thomas. They already waived him from the moment last podcast we had. They picked him up like after that, and now we have the next one, and he's already waived, dude. Yep. He's gone. We picked up Darren Collison, Stanley the, Johnson. Exactly, exactly. I was going to say that. Different guys. They're yep. just coming out of nowhere. It's, I mean, it's this whole COVID thing that's going through the whole league right now. You know what I mean? All these guys are getting 10-day contracts from uh, Joe Johnson. Joe Johnson on the Celtics. Right? That's wild. He's 42, 41, he's something like that. He's 40. He's yeah, no, he's 40s. minimum of 40. Yeah. But this guy's only, he was just playing in the big three. Yeah. And you know what I mean? minutes in the NBA. Yeah. Honestly, that's another kind of um, subplot of this whole COVID stuff is that there's a lot of good basketball players in the United States. Just, just chilling. Because whether or not the Lakers waived Isaiah Thomas, okay, they gave right. him a 10-day contract, they waived him. His first game back, he had 19 points. Yes, he did. And he played well, at yeah. least on the offensive I mean, offensive, yeah, I mean you're, what are you going to expect from him at 5'9 from and defense? And older now. Exactly. Yeah. Even when he was in his well, prime, he hip, was... And yeah. his hip problem. Even in his prime, I mean? he yeah. was never going to be a good defender, right. So especially now. And it's it just shows you there's so much unused talent. It's, right. it's all about opportunity. I used to be very anti of... Uh, still, like, have my reservations on, oh, it's all about opportunity. You just give guys chances and they'll get it. It's, right. There's some truth to that. But I feel... That this COVID situation has, has showed that it is slightly sure. true because you even saw Stanley Johnson, yeah. who is not a good NBA player by any measure, but right. he, he was played, playing great defense. Yeah, exactly. He was he playing was, like his job was on the it, line. And, and he, it was. It was. <laughs> it was. And, and he was one of the only bright spots yesterday. Right. Oh, yeah. Or at Christmas Day. Yeah, exactly. So, showing that effort, showing that that. And that's what we always, as Laker fans, loved about Alex Caruso. That's why people are falling in love with Austin Reeves. Of course he, you know I what I mean? Like, we, 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 yes, it's it's the town of glitz and glamour, the town of uh, of Hollywood. But we love those our, our athletes to to grind. I forgot to, who said to put this. in that work. 
I forgot who said this, but Los Angeles is actually a blue collar town, bro. Yeah. People go to work on the holidays. People work in the industrial industry. People work nine to fives. People from Los Angeles work. Exactly. You, you, all the out of towners, they work too. I'm not saying right. they don't, but it's mostly you get the glitz and glamour from Hollywood. Right. That's right. a lot of out of town people. There's not many California, LA people that are in Hollywood. Right. People work in the in the for the city. Yeah. People work at your retail people work at your fast food small businesses work in industrial small businesses so many entrepreneurs born and bred in los angeles exactly. los angeles is a blue collar town oh, for sure land. nobody tell you different so we like hard work we like exactly. when you see the caruso's like you said you see the austin reed right stanley johnson we appreciate that right shit. it's like Just dude, put in, you put in that work, work. you put in that work, work in defense and that's what you, we want to see that that effort let's say Yes, you may not be a good shot. Yeah, you might not like be able to get a good jump shot. But if you put in that effort, defense is you know fifty percent effort. The the rest is is up to you. To, you know to to go. You know I what almost I mean? feel it's more than fifty percent effort. Defense is almost all effort, bro. Obviously, athleticism is right. a big deal. Right. But defense is and a lot IQ, of effort, so. knowing where you need yeah, to be. IQ, so you know, yeah, there's like twenty percent like basketball IQ right. and athleticism. But it's all effort. Like guys like Tony Allen, right. guys like Ron Artest, guys like Dennis exactly. Rodman. Draymond Green is almost the exception. Very high basketball IQ. Right, guy. right. But most of the defenders are just effort and right. just being Gritty. dogs. Yeah, exactly. So Getting that's why guys like ball. Austin Reeves and Alex right. Caruso are like that yeah. and are like that. And, and people love and, and people, the Laker fans love that. And we that's don't why want- we don't fuck with anti Davis right, right now. That's why we don't fuck like Westbrook as a, as a whole. Not, a, not that we don't fuck with him. It's just that we're disappointed in what this team has become after what we saw during the bubble and I all that. I feel like know? the consensus is like after talking to all the people we talked to at the live podcast, all those great guests that we had. A lot of the consensus was Anthony Davis is not making it. Right. They, the the people are convincing me. Um, it's not just you. It's not right. just talking heads it's the actual people on the ground watching even san, the fans. Anto- san antonio fan right the, and it's like they see it i see it we all see it. anthony right. davis needs to bring it he's hurt i, I guess i just nba to bring fans it more. To see it and you it, know what i mean it sucks and now but this is the thing though now we don't have him we're still being sorry right LeBron james is bringing it every day and it's still sorry westbrook right. just can't do it no so i got i got something brewing i, w- I want to talk about we, we didn't have this down but what do you, you think about what Kat said and what Draymond responded? I don't say know if you it, saw that. It. No, I didn't. I didn't. So, so Kat uh, was on his live or Twitch. I don't know. One yeah, of he the has other. a podcast. Yeah, he has oh, a podcast. He, has a pod- yeah. uh, I, he was Draymond, he, right? Draymond. No, Draymond. no, no. It wasn't Draymond. It was uh, Carl Anthony Towns was on live. Just by himself. By himself. Oh, right. Uh, or on Twitch. It was just him recording himself and talking to people. And um, he was talking about, somebody put up a question about saying, uh, so what, what do you think about Westbrook? He's like, Oh no! Do you think Westbrook is just a, a player who chased stats? He's like, of course, yeah. Ch- uh, uh, Westbrook is nothing but a guy that chased stats. But I, I respect him, and he, he's, you know, he's a great player, and all, the, all this stuff. Then Draymond goes back and just fires back, saying, you know, what are you gonna, you know, why? Are you, I, I'm paraphrasing here, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's, this guy saying that we're brothers and it's a brotherhood, but yeah, yeah, you're saying all this other stuff, and so, you know, you know what he's I mean. Saying like, that 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 cat yeah. is disrespecting the nba brotherhood basically you know when when he comes out and says that you we're we're a brotherhood before, you, you know what i mean like yeah. yeah he just pretty much called them out on that don't quote me but yeah i'll find but it the thing is is it's true russell westbrook is a stat chaser but current thing towns is the last guy that needs to talk to me about stat chasing or any fan about stat chasing because right yeah, Carl Anthony Towns is a great basketball player, or not even. I'm, I'm overrating him. He's a good basketball player. The only reason they're even getting caught again is because Anthony Edwards is a problem, right. and Anthony Edwards is the leader that Minnesota needed. So I don't want to hear no opinions from Carl Anthony Towns about stat chasers, about who's good or who's not, right, about right, right. who he respects or who he doesn't respect. His opinion only matters because he's an NBA player, but in the reality, it's... It's false. I side with Draymond Green on it, like on anything with Cat involved. Right. I sound. I side with Draymond Green. Yeah. Because Cat is 
he's a talented guy, but he's fraudulent as For he sure. comes as a as a as a leader, yep. as a leader of a franchise, as a number where, one. Where where is this team, the Minnesota teams, where they should have been? You they're know only what I mean? good. And they're only decent now because Anthony, <gasps> Anthony Edwards, Edwards. Yeah, and he's putting you in your place. You're number right. two, which yeah, is fine. He is. Your foot's just good, and he's. I, it looks hey, like he's accepted it. Hey, he's nice. He's good. No, Carl I feel Anthony like Towns, Towns, has, Towns has accepted the number two role. And he has talent. But the thing is, is that you're not a number one. Right. So you don't get to talk about effort. You don't right. get to talk about stats. Right. Yeah, you have your opinion. Great clap. But right. it, it holds no weight, in my opinion. For sure. Draymond Green's opinion holds way more weight because Draymond Green always played his role. Draymond Green's always been the best defender on his team. Always been the the Megan Cog on those Golden State Warriors teams. Obviously, right. Steph is the best player. Obviously, Clay second best shooter of all time. But Draymond's the engine mm-hmm. of that team. So, yeah. I hold his opinion more and fuck Cat and all they stand for. <laughs> Straight up. I don't want to hear about Cat. I don't want to hear about Carl Anthony Towns. Yeah, man. you know what? I, 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 it's funny because I haven't really heard from him until all this, and I'm like, well, "Where you been, man? What's going on?" Yeah, I, I know you guys are having like, oh, you know, all right, you're, you're okay. But speaking about Minnesota, I love Anthony Edwards, bro. I love Anthony, Anthony Edwards. Anthony Edwards is sick. Yeah, he's nasty. No, he's good. He's explosive. I, I love that. There's a lot of young guys that are gonna get out there and is gonna just take this 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 league to another level. I feel like right now, due to COVID, it's been slowing down just because we can't see uh, uh, Kyrie and 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 uh, Kevin Durant and James Harden together in the Nets and and with what Ben Simmons and the and the Philadelphia Sixers are doing. Dude. But um, you know, right now coming up, twenty twenty two is coming up. January NBA trade trade deadline. It's January, right? Right. I, I, February. February. February tra- trade deadline. The Lakers, you know, so I, right before the Christmas Day game, Rich Paul came out and said, LeBron's not going anywhere. LeBron's not leaving. That's an interesting statement. LeBron's not leaving, but we're, we're, we're looking into with man, with, with general management into different trades. Sham uh, Sharania from, from The Athletic, you know, came out with all that first and, and said he talked to Rich Paul and, and that, you know, he, LeBron's not going anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not planning on leaving, but they are looking that, that they're Someone's that, and other conversations came out from the Lakers that they're looking on trading people. Yeah, big names coming out like Russell Westbrook, you know, package with THT or something for somebody. You know, somebody threw out Russell Westbrook for John Wall. I hear that a lot. That already happened too. You know what I mean? Like they, they traded they Westbrook to to, to, to Washington uh, for John Wall. Exactly. To yeah. That's exactly. Happened so you know what I mean. They have the only two contracts that match, bro. Right. But I have a, a next little spicy one for you, bro. Because I've been thinking, there's you hear two, that? there's some the steam coming off that tape. I feel the steam. This is a Korean barbecue <laughs> steam, bro. Woo! And Damn, you're getting me hungry, dude. Right. No, <laughs> go, kimchi, go, shor- <laughs> kimchi shortage, shortage. bro. It, it's Shout a real out to thing, the kimchi people. Shortage. Really Tell, think about don't it. eat the kimchi. Don't eat the kimchi because I need it exactly. <laughs> but. Uh-huh. I really hot like take. this for the Lakers. Honestly, I don't even think it. I think it's a hot take, but I don't, I don't consider it personally a hot take it's a hot because take. I like this for the Lakers and I like this for this other team. I don't. I like this for this other team. I like trade LeBron James for Ben Simmons and Tyreek Ma- and Tyrese Maxey. What? What? Yes. No. Why? Because just LeBron James. Just LeBron James, straight up. Because they want to win a championship. Their window is small with Joel Embiid. He's injury prone. So just give up on this on this year. Give up on this whole team. Just just give up on the next decade. Not the next decade for the next two years. Just give up. Oh. And we get Ben Simmons, Jeff, a guy who's twenty four, twenty five. How has that ever? Like I know that worked a little bit we during team up that with time. Anthony Davis. Oh, we no. find a way to trade Russell Westbrook somehow for some chicken shit change. We'll pay half his contract. I don't know, but we need to figure. We need to blow this team up. So I no, like. I don't think. I don't think we're gonna. I don't feel like at the end of the day, even though that's happening, I'm not gonna go and be drastic and say blow up the pillars of this team, which is LeBron James. No, and we're Anthony not trading Davis. Anthony Davis. No, we're I know. Him. Yeah, he's staying. You, you, we're trading LeBron James. We're shipping that, them that, to Philly. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's that's not in the goal of of the Lakers as an organization. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, it's not gonna they, happen. No, no. I way. want it to happen so bad, though. That's why I'm saying. You it's know a hot why take. I don't think it would happen though? Because Rich Paul is the agent of both of them. 
That's right. why it's not going to happen. Yeah, no. It, it, oh, exactly. That's why and, it's not going to happen. And probably LeBron James probably ho- owns at like a percentage of... Uh, but if, if I'm sports. a Lakers fan, I want all my Lakers fans to think about it. Ben Simmons for LeBron James right now. It's a, it's a I good. need a poll. we will put a poll up. What, what do people think? I need right. that. I need the answer. We're, we're seventh in the West right now. We got the Warriors, Suns, Jazz, Grizzlies, Clippers, Nuggets, Lakers. And the next couple games, we got the Rockets, Grizzlies, and Blazers, who are teams who are not doing so well. Winnable games. Um, What's our record right now? I, I'm not, I'm we're not like sure. 16 and 19, bro. We're, we're bad. We're okay. 16 and 19 for sure. But if we win the next three out of... F- I mean, the next five games are winnable games. The or next four out of five. Look, okay, look. the Grizzlies. Can, Grizzlies have been playing well. Rockets suck, so we could beat the Rockets. The we Blazers the haven't Rockets. been playing well. Blazers haven't been playing well, but we need to beat them. Timberwolves the have kicked our ass two times, so that's gonna be right. hard. Right, Kings, Kings. That's beatable. So I'm saying three out of five, maybe four out of five. No, we should win all those games. No, or not. We're gonna lose to the Timberwolves again. No, no. So, let, let's say, let's say, Jeff, in in, in a world that's perfect. And we we just predict things, and I know the I lottery numbers. I, I if they win those, the, let's say four out of five, we'll become twenty and eighteen. No, 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 twenty and nineteen. Is there a hope? Let's say we do some trades. Look, that there is a playoff. I mean, right now we're in a play-in game. We're in a play-in game. Playing game. We were last year when Look, we had a better team, and we say. we had injuries. This is what I will say: If the Lakers can get to the fifth seed. Avoid the playing game to the sixth seed. Just avoid the playing game. Right. Anything could happen. Okay. Anything could happen. And and that's what I'm saying. I'm not ruling out no trades. I'm not ruling out things that look. LeBron and, and for Ben. Before we've we we've always said Jeff, in Rob we trust. I trust in Rob. In Rob, I do trust in Rob. We trust. So I haven't lost my faith in Rob. <laughs> I have not lost faith. I know that there is a plan. I know that it, yeah, it didn't work out. A with, of, with a moment with, of meditation for Rob. Two seconds. Thank you. I trust in Rob. <laughs> but, um, you know, um, I feel like even though they didn't work with, with Westbrook, I, I, he had on paper the right team. It doesn't, didn't work out how it worked out. He's going to have a better team coming forward. I, I, that's what I feel. You know, you guys let us know what you guys think. Um, but you know what? Let's take a quick break for our sponsors so that, uh, uh, we, yeah, for our sponsors. Thank you. But let's get in a little bit to uh, what's coming up. A little uh, stay in football, stay in football, but in the, the collegiate, collegiate level, yeah. And uh, some college football, we're getting into bowl season. Although some bowl games have been canceled due to COVID, like we like in throughout every sport. And like I was telling you, NHL. off the air, NHL got got somewhat uh, suspended, and and you know we got ten day contracts that we talked about in the the beginning half of this uh, podcast. So COVID is going every in every you know league city country everywhere but we're having we're hopefully have still having these main the the, the natty the games. two the four the two the games f- yeah the top four which is michigan georgia cincinnati alabama which to me are going to be great games i've been watching a lot more college football this year a lot more invested in what's going on and michigan's been on a run Dude, Aiden Hutchinson's probably going to be the number one pick. For sure. DN, Sack, yeah. Demon. Crazy. He might be the number one pick. Georgia has the number one defense in college oh, football. Yeah, he- so that's a that's going to be a defensive matchup. The running back of Michigan, he's, he's good. sick. They yeah. have a good offense because of that running back. Right. But they really rely on their defense. They do. That's going to be the best game of the and night. Th- that's going to be a gritty game. That's going to be, you know, hard nose. Or and Georgia's fuck- out for blood because they lost to Alabama. So I like that. And I like Michigan, too. That game is, to me, th- this all leads into my new uh, addiction, my new uh, habit <laughs> that I have picked up. Because I need I need something new to rely on every year to like just, lay my just head off. you know a little a little hobby to a get you through hobby, the day right get through the day get through the the cold months get through the hot months get you know, through the good days the bad days the bored days the bored days gambling oh <laughs> I feel like it's taken the country by storm taking the country by storm like, I see I, Caesar's Palace coming out with their new advertisements because they see FanDuel and 
my bookie and food speaking of TV. Caesars, I we were watching the Saints and um, Dolphins game before Caesar's going on. Palace. The, it's a Caesars Superdome now. Yeah. It's not the Mercedes. Caesars. It used to be the Mercedes Superdome. And that's now what Caesars, Caesars can do. Like this is crazy. The thing, speaking about gambling too, Caesars was really against all these betting apps like FanDuel right. and all these new things that are coming out. Oh, but yeah. now they're they just know that it's gonna become legal in the United States just generally. So just fucking so, buy in. So they're gonna buy in and they have the most power. Right, the most money. And they have the most credibility. Right. If it comes legal, I'm gonna put my money on Caesars. Yeah, I already got the app once it's yeah, ready in, in California. Caesars is sick. I, I'm with Caesars, but I'm gonna tell you this you know right now. I mean? I'm gonna tell you this right now. Bet right now. Money line. Ooh. If you got it, do it for Cincinnati. You got nothing to lose. Bet twenty bucks. Bet fifteen bucks. Bet, bet whatever you want. On whatever. the money line. Don't bet on your the mortgage. Spread, on the money line. Don't bet anything that you can't spend. Be responsible. Bet what you're really gonna lose. I'm betting a hundred dollars on Cincinnati to upset Alabama in the semifinal. Let's fucking go. Do you know go. what the spread is? I don't know what the spread is. Let me look it up. But who do you think is gonna beat? Uh, who do you think are they gonna gonna go to the championship on that? I think I think I think Alabama is coming out out of that game, and I feel like Michigan is going to come out of that game. A classic, you know, blue bloods. So I mean, I mean these these schools where you're going to, you know, Michigan, a classic uh, football, college football team, Alabama, you know, dominating with. Uh, so right Nick now, the, like the spread is. The money line spread is minus fifty five, minus five hundred and fifty Alabama, Alabama plus three three seventy five Cincinnati. I'm gonna do plus three seventy five. I'm gonna do the math right now. This is on my bookie right now. I'm gonna place. Let's say if I place. We're teaching the people how to gamble. Let's place this bet right now. I'm gonna place this bet for the people. This is a live Live. bet. (laughs) No, actually, it's not. I'm just kidding. (laughs) But if I would bet, if I would, if I were to partake on a bet on live TV, I. Would bet a hundred dollars and win three seventy five plus the hundred, so I'm up four seventy five, baby. And I'm about to do that whenever I do that. Not live though, yeah, because no, it's not legal it, in California. It's, it's, this is just hypothetical. It's it's funny. It's funny how if I was in Vegas, so I'm gonna go to Vegas and catch. Boom, put it down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that down. A hundred dollars on Cincinnati, baby. It, it's crazy how it's taken by storm. Like uh, the whole world, the whole country, everybody's like, "Hey, you're not gambling." You. I, I get so many people coming up to me. Hey, man, we love your podcast. We love you doing. You know, are you gambling on? The, I'm like, oh, or no. you could do the the spread, which is the point spread. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Which that's is better. It's plus fourteen you minus fourteen. Oh, so is it? So if Cincinnati is plus fourteen, so they could lose. either win or lose Le- by fourteen Le- or less than four. Yeah. yeah, they have to lose by fourteen at or, most yeah. or just win. Yeah, by whatever. And then Alabama is minus fourteen, so they have to win by, by 14, fourteen or more. Yeah, no, I so it's take, a good I, bet. I, yeah, it's this, a good bet. But I just want to win bet outright. I bet Cincinnati do, on the point spread. Yeah, that's a safer bet for sure. Safer bet, one hundred percent. Because I don't think they're going to go out with. I'm just going to generate. I'm just going to generate full mo- on money line, just straight up money line. Win. Find your bookie. Yeah, you know what I mean. You're going to meet a guy in Redondo Beach. Exactly. He <laughs> he has ties to some type of mob, some type of ethnic mob. <laughs> We're not going to say what kind <laughs> yeah, of. I don't know. City, who knows who listens? <laughs> some type of mob, Eastern European, Mediterranean, yeah, South American, right. Central hey, American, you never North know. American. There's many mobs. All, all five out together. All five of those. <laughs> mobs all continental mobs <laughs> next thing you know we're just gonna be sponsored by these kind of mobs yeah. sponsored by continental mob thor <laughs> <laughs> the fourth continental mob sponsors unlucky specialists i hope we have a disclaimer saying this is all made this out. is all fictitious <laughs> this is all just lies and deceptions we're just here to make you guys laugh <laughs> bring you a little smile into your day but you know what it's been a great episode guys it's been a good time sitting down shooting the shit talking about basketball football everything we want to talk about uh make sure you guys check us out on at on uh, apple Podcasts, on spotify iHeartRadio. we're on instagram at unlucky specialist on twitter at unlucky s podcast it's your boy sam torres it's J- uh, jesus we got your boy at disco uh destructo disco jason in the house it's your boy jeff Depenia. we out here peace Yay.